guys welcome to this video this is a quantum gaming uploads what i'll be showing you is a quick flight with the 787 before we get deliveries on uh thursday friday so let's go guys i missed uh, flying this plane because i've been flying the concord and i haven't had any time to fly the 787 but i'll be flying her more and more when we get deliveries i'm going to show you the deliveries on thursday or friday guys depending when we get the update i'm going to show you what we're going to get and hopefully we may get like a plane or two planes, but we'll see how it goes, guys. Hopefully some more uh, Neo, A320 Neo liveries as well. We'll see how it goes, guys. Now this flight is going to be like 200 nautical miles. So let's go. I really love... Uh, the 787 guys, she's uh, my favorite. Before the Concord. Concord now comes first. But we'll see how it goes with the 737 when that comes. Maybe that's going to become better. My favorite. But we'll see. For now it's the Concord. I love the Concord. So let's go. Got enough room. And I keep getting this uh, low bandwidth thing, guys. I didn't used to have this before. But uh, after a couple of updates, I keep getting that. My connection is fine. No issues with that connection whatsoever. But I keep getting that stuff. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's a SIM issue or an overall connection issue with the servers itself. But my connection is fine. I didn't have any problems in the past. As you can see, you can see a bit of lag because of that, guys. I do love enjoying this. Uh, I do love uh, enjoy flying this plane, guys. She's incredible. She's a fantastic plane, for sure. She's beautiful. Now, this was my first favorite airliner in the game. Before the Concorde came. And she's very close to the Concorde. Because it's like a real airliner. The Concorde is not like... The Concorde is, in my opinion, it's like a mix between a, an airliner and a jet. It's like a mix between the two. Now, this is a proper airliner. What you can call a proper airliner. It's all different class inside. And it doesn't matter if you overspeed, guys. It's a 20 nautical miles flight, so it doesn't matter if you speed a bit. You can see the wings moving. That's the thing I love the most about the 787. The wing flex, even on consoles, it looks phenomenal. I think it has the best wing flex in the game. Slow down a bit. I don't want to bust them in half, you know. Gotta be careful. Not sure if that's ever happened in the sim. But. Crazy. Not supposed to go that. That's hard of them. You take it easy on the speed. It's a bit windy here, that's why. You can see that movement. Of the wings, and they're very tall wings compared to the other aircraft. It's a shame that the uh, 777 planes haven't got any wing flex on Xbox. That would have been cool as well to see. But uh, this, just look at that, how the wing moves, guys. That's scary. But hopefully we're going to get something good this week, guys. Hopefully something good. I know that uh, the update, the Sim Update 9, is going to come next week from the 25th. So, not sure if they're going to do anything this week. They may leave it until after next week when it comes to aircraft. They might give us like uh, liveries and all that, but I think they're going to give us the planes next week, probably, in a next week's Marketplace update. They usually do that because the plane needs to be updated. And that's why the 737 is going to come next week because of... Uh, 
What happened? Something happened there, guys. Did you see that? Something happened there. The plane like dropped on the on the left side, out of nowhere. I don't know what happened there. Like something pushed it. But yeah, hopefully we're gonna get uh, the 737 next week, and I'm gonna show you guys. It may be a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. And from what I've seen from the videos and the pictures, it just looks phenomenal, like a proper airliner. I think it's gonna be the best looking airliner in the game when it comes to detail. I hope it has uh, passengers though. I do hope it has that, but because we need uh, airliners to have the passengers as well. You know, the cabin. So this doesn't. The 737 uh, and the uh, A330neo. They don't. Only the 777 and the Concorde have got that. You can see in the cabin. Just gonna give it a bit more speed, guys. And the reason, guys, I've done talk in every video because I want you to enjoy the flight without hearing my voice. Hear my voice once and twice is fine, but not in every video, guys. Even myself, I would get bored of that. So I'd rather upload videos without my voice so you can enjoy the noises of the plane and the surroundings. Instead of hearing myself in every video, I think that's a good idea to do it that way instead of me speaking in all videos. I mean, in flights like this, I can do it, it's fine, but. I gotta take it easy in this, guys, because it's very windy. I can see it's very windy. I can see the movement on the plane. And it's telling me that this is super windy, even though you're not seeing it. The plane is feeling it, it's feeling the wind. So, 155 miles to go. I think we are in Ukraine, I think. I think that's the place I picked. And another reason, guys, I love this plane. This plane is super fast. She's a fast airliner. Compared to the A320neo, she's really fast. And I always wondered, uh, because the wings are so big, how come they didn't put uh, another two engines on this? To make it like four engines. I think she would have handled another two engines in there. I think she would have been fine. Maybe if not the big ones like these, maybe a smaller ones just to help her go faster. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not engineer guys, but I don't know. Just an idea. They must, they must have thought of that for sure. Who am I to teach Boeing what to do? Just I always thought because the wings are so the wings are so wide. Why they didn't put like two small engines in there? Like on the sides. It maybe it's just too powerful for this plane. Maybe this plane cannot handle another two engines or any or something. It would have been interesting. You let me know guys if you know. Let me know in the comments if you got any info on the Boeings or the 787. Let me know. And I cannot see, guys, if you are typing on my Twitch. I cannot see the comments because I'm not uh, on my PC right now. I'm just doing it through the Series X and I cannot see the comments.
I need to get the laptop, guys. I need to get the laptop. That would have been much easier, you know, just leaving the laptop there and I can see it. I definitely need to do that. So I've got a gaming, uh, what do you call gaming PC? Yeah, gaming PC. But I need the laptop to check all the comments and everything else. Makes it easier. But I'm saving the money for the planes, guys. I'd rather show the planes when they come out. And I can get the laptop when I can. Because I do this like for a couple of hours, I have to do other work. Whenever I'm off, like 15, 30 minutes, I come back and do this. And I get out again. And I come back at night time. In the evenings and do more. Sometimes it gets difficult, guys, when the update comes like 3 in the morning and I have to get up early. It becomes very difficult to upload videos. And I have to do it like, honestly, guys, with one eye open. <laughs> I have to do the video. I have to record the video with one eye open and I have to be quiet because everybody, neighbors and everybody else is sleeping like 3 in the morning. So I don't want to wake anybody up. So I have to do it like that with one eye closed or one eye open. And very quietly. But it's always been a pleasure guys to do it. Because I know it helps you out. To see the liveries, to see the planes. Nothing comes without sacrifices guys. I've learned that years ago. Even though I'm quite young. I'm not an older, older guy. I'm quite young. As you can hear from my voice. But I got experience when it comes to that. Life experience. And when you see. Always wondered guys when you fly the plane. Can you see how many empty land there is in the world. What fascinated me, I was traveling to Brazil and I was seeing like endless endless terrain with no not a living soul there, not a house or nothing in Brazil. Nothing, just empty, empty forests, you know? Nobody living there. So that's crazy. And when you see the big cities we're struggling for housing and all that. You see all these empty places like right here. There's nobody, nobody's living there. All of this terrain here. You got like a small town here and there, but most of the thing is empty. So 95 nautical miles. Come on, 787, you can do it. You're not going to let me down. Hopefully, we're going to do a good landing as well. Although I haven't flown in a while. Hopefully, we're going to do a good landing. I'm used to the Concorde, so hopefully, this should be fine. I think it's going to be like 15 minutes till we get there. 10-15 minutes. I think. I cannot wait for the liveries as well. Just an idea. I know we... A uh, 2 is got confirmed. Uh, United has been confirmed. But we'll see if any other nice ones 
I wanted to see Alitalia in here as well, but I don't think we're going to get that on the 787. I would love to see it, even though it's not uh, true to life. I would love to see it. But I love uh, Alitalia. Alitalia is a fantastic, used to be a fantastic airliner. In the 80s, 90s, or 70s, 80s, 90s, even 2000s. It was a great uh, company. I think they're still around, but uh, it's not uh, as known as before. They used to be big on in the 80s, 90s. And I can't remember what planes they had in the Balkans and Italy. I think they had smaller planes, similar sizes to the A320neo, but I think they were different planes, I think. They were not uh, A320neos, I think they are older versions than that, than the Neo. So let me know guys, if you know this, let me know in the comments. Very interesting to, to read about it. What uh, planes did Alitalia use in Italy in the 80s, 90s and uh, 2000s, early 2000s? Would be very interesting to know. But because they always looked uh, beautiful, you know, the Alitalia livery. Always looked beautiful, they had that green, red and white. I had the Italian thing in the back. It was uh, fantastic. And I haven't flown in a... I've never been a passenger of a 787. I've only been a passenger of uh, the A320 Neo going to Spain but apart from that yeah no other, I haven't seen any other planes like I haven't been in in other planes like this I would love to be in one and I never seen the Concorde in real life like from close up even in a museum I haven't seen her I would love to see it I would love to see how big she is in real life it's cool to see it in the game, but you cannot uh, determine the size, the real size, like you see it in person. I'm sure she must have been like majestic when you when you saw her from close up. Or can you imagine the people that uh, took flights with the Concorde? How fantastic they must have been. You gotta ask one of them guys. Or the ladies. Business women, you know, they used to fly from London to New York or Paris. Got to ask some of those ladies what uh, what was the Concorde like, or an ex-pilot. That would be even better if you got like uh, the stewardesses or the pilots of the Concorde. It would have been amazing if they talked about it. That's the thing about time, guys. Time goes so fast. And things move on so fast. It's crazy. We don't even feel it, you know? Years ago, I was just a kid. I mean, just a kid. Yeah. And time goes so fast. 20 years ago. Like a really tiny kid. And I'm grown up. Didn't even feel it. And another thing, guys, we underestimate uh, those years. We never thought, like, oh, we're going to grow up. And uh, we just took them for granted. Uh, who cares? We're young and we can do whatever we like. So we don't think about the future or what we're going to be like, what we're going to do. It's like, Crazy. And the people, of course, guys, you know, the parents, grandparents. I mean, I wish I've met my... Like, I wish I had, like, a year. One more year with my grandparents. And before they died. You see, I didn't see them, guys. I was away when they died. 
So I couldn't see them. I were with my uncles or different countries. So when they passed away, I couldn't go. And it was like a, such a shock. It's like a, because you're not there, you don't feel it, guys. They are gone, but you don't feel it. It would have been entirely different if I was there. That's what I mean about uh, people being away and time and you don't even know it's going. That's a sad fact of life, guys. Time is our worst enemy. And I wish we had just had more time. We lived to 300 years old. Instead of 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Because it's not enough, guys. It's not enough. I don't even don't want to imagine what uh, what planes we're gonna have in three years from now. It'd be insane to even think think of that. We're probably not gonna have any planes. But we're gonna have like a you know, the hover jets. You know, when you fly with your two feet, you just go anywhere you like. You don't even need a jet. You just put that in your feet and that's it. You can go anywhere. From London to New York. Like minutes probably. With that, that technology. So can we do a good landing guys? Can we do a good landing? What do you think? Is the 787 going to let us down? I don't think she will, but you never know. Look at the wind, guys. Look at the wings. Oh, they're moving from the wind. Let's move the flaps to flap. Flaps one. Gonna do just fine. Let's keep it steady to 200, then lower it gradually when we go for the landing. I don't know why the screen is telling me I need to go that way, but I can see the runway is in front of me. So, I'm not sure why it's telling me to go that way. Guys, I'm gonna follow my instinct instead of and visualize. I'm gonna follow my eyes and my instinct instead of the screen so I can see the runway from here I'm gonna take the flaps away take the flaps off and keep it to 200 I think we're gonna do just fine because I can see the runway guys I don't know why it's telling me to go this side And I'm lagging a bit here. Not sure why. Oh, I need to lower the speed. Just went a bit, just over speed. Just a bit faster than I wanted. It's no problem, we've got long to go. 11 nautical miles. Gonna be just fine. I love the cockpit of the 787, it looks very nice, very modern, compared to the other airliners. A320 is not bad as well, but the 777 got entirely different. Well, this looks very good, the 787. It's got like massive screens, I like that. 
to lower myself a bit. I'm just a bit too high. I should go to 2300 or something. Or 2000. And we should be just fine. I'm not over speeding, come on. And I'm gonna put the gear in a bit. Put the gear down in a bit. Thank you. We just see if that works. Sometimes it doesn't. You see that I need to lower my speed for that to work. Come on. Why is that not working? Yep. Much better. That's what I like to see. Luckily, I wasn't that fast in there. I didn't. I didn't raise this the throttle. I didn't put the throttle up to go faster. So I'm doing just fine now. As I am now, I think I'm doing just fine. Luckily, I handled it, or it would have been a problem. Now when you see that you're going a bit down guys, just give it a bit of power to take it up to 160 instead of 140 because you may plummet down. Just take it to 160, should be fine. So you don't plummet on the ground. We should be fine. bit of a lag in here wow did you see that guys did you see the game crash now that's crazy that, that's what I don't like about uh, when that happens just going in for the landing and you crash I don't like that at all guys just it just ruins the flight I did like a 20 minute flight and it just uh, just ruined the flight but it happened guys what can you do and I'm live I cannot uh, change it so that's one of the things. I try to remain positive, but some things like that ruin it for me. That's why I don't do flights like this. Because uh, the experience gets ruined. I'd rather do shorter flights with jets and all that than instead of doing this. Because it ruins the experience. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed the flight. Even though we crashed in the end. What can we do? It happens. So yeah guys, uh, and hopefully we're going to get a good update uh, tomorrow. Hopefully we're going to see some nice liveries. So yeah guys, as always, you're one and only, Quantum Gaming Uploads. Take care guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.